for my 4x4 swap, or swap. I didn't uh, actually get any of the vacuum lines and um, it was just going to be too much wiring and work to add it. So the simplest thing to do would be just to delete it. And um, it's actually kind of simple. You know, your first step is positioning the sleeve that actually act locks the uh, diff. If it's if it looks like this, it doesn't actually lock the diff. It's uh it's free spinning. Um, you can uh, normally test this out. You can normally test this out when you uh, spin it, and if the other side spins too, then it's then it's locked. But see, in this case, it's not locked because the other side won't spin. So if I spin it. If the sleeve is sitting and you can actually see the gear itself and it, it's too far to the right, you want it to be just covering the gear just like this. So you can see some of the shaft exposed there. You want it to just cover the gear. If it doesn't go in, like see how it's not going over, you just have to spin the sh shaft and line up the teeth. Let's see, that's the position you want. Like this, it'll lock both sides and um, it'll actuate the, uh, it'll activate the, uh, f the locking, it'll actuate the differential so that way your 4x4 four four, four four will uh, work correctly. Um, with this, this is the actual actuator. This actuator is a uh, vacuum operated all it does is just moves this fork left and right so this as you see this is the position you want it in to activate the front diff or to lock the front diff and um, if you have locking hubs uh, you can just you have manually locking hubs you can just unlock your hubs and they'll in your uh, wheels of free spin but if you're like me I, I don't have locking hubs so my my hubs are always my wheels are always be locked in and uh, they'll always be drag on the front diff which is perfectly fine uh, that just means I'll have to make sure to um, to change out the differential fluid with my regular you know regular changes with uh, my rear and my center diff but the way you actually keep the fork from moving back and forth is all you have to do is just put one of these hose clamps right right there and uh, once that's completed it'll keep it from moving from side to side
as you can see these were the old vacuum lines um, I just removed it since I didn't need it anymore and I just used one of the uh, small vacuum lines that came out of the actuator and I just um, looped it back around itself See. I just looped it back around itself and you know they don't keep anything from getting inside there you know just keep it sealed um, there was also a bigger hose um, on the bigger hose all I did was I just put I just put one of the, this hose back on there this hose already had a a little cap on there. Um, if I had to guess, this is probably like a breather hose or something for the differential. And all this cap does, since it fits loosely, it, it just keeps water from going inside it. Um, but all I did was I just put that back on here. And uh, once I put this diff in, I'll just tie this somewhere to the chassis to keep it keep it up. And you know, hopefully above out of the above water line if I ever uh, you know ever go off roading and. Um, it's some um, water that kind of comes up above the suspension and hopefully this will be high enough to where it'll keep the water out of it if not you can always just extend it 